Hello everybody, today we are going to be finishing up our um, reseller box from Jamar Retail Treasures. Please, Jamar Retail Treasures, let me check my paper here. Yes, Jamar Retail Treasures. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and along with my wife Angelique, we run a closet on Poshmark. It's called The Deegans, and it's linked below. Um, we also have our Instagram, and I think that's it. Link, and, oh, an email link below, so um, be sure to follow us on those things too. Um, all right. So, this is the last bit of the 50, 50 item reseller CPR box that we got from Jamal Retail Treasures. The whole box cost us um, roughly two hundred dollars with shipping, uh, so it averaged out to about four dollars, four dollars per item. And so far, it's been a pretty good box. So um, let's see if this last bit of clothing holds up with the rest of it. All right, up first we have a pair of Levi's. These are Levi's Premium Rib Cage Pleated Crop. Um, I don't know that style of jeans, but they appear to be a pair of jeans that are cut off at the bottom. But it looks like they're uh, cut off in an intentional way. I just, I never know of jeans. Um, I know that that's a style, but it's also something you can do with a pair of scissors and, uh, well, some time. So I just always never know about jeans like that. Uh, looked like they were about capri length. Um, they were size 24. So I don't really know how good those will do. So maybe the first, maybe the first bad item in the box. Um, although they could do well, so we'll have to list them and see. All right, up next we have a pair of Smart Denim uh, DL1961. I'm not sure what happened in 1961. Um, size 25, and these are another pair of jeans. Now you may notice that I'm showing a lot of pants. Uh, that's because when I shoot these boxes, I tend to shoot all the tops first and then save the pants for last because then I don't have to switch back and forth between mannequins. Oh. All right. Up next is another pair of pants, but this is a very good pair of pants. These are rag and bone. Um, they do have a tag, but that's a Jamar tag, so that's just a tag from the reseller um, or from the box. Um, they are high rise ankle skinny and I mean they're kind of jeans but they're unique material um, I didn't look up the uh, you know I didn't see the uh, fabric it's probably cotton and polyester uh, yep it looks like it's um, 91 percent cotton 5% polyester and 2.5% spandex. So that doesn't add up to that doesn't add up to 100%. So probably just the tags a little bit like worn down. Anyway, these are a nice pair of leather faux shiny pants. Um, and they're they're a bit smaller. Uh, so having them be a little bit on the smaller side should help them do well because that makes them a unique size and they're rag and bone which is a brand that does very well for us all right and speaking of brands that do well for us we have a j brand uh these are a pair of j brand white uh what's called white jeans um let's see if i can find yeah they're mostly cotton and elastic so yeah we can just call them jeans. Uh, they are size 26, and aside from just being white, they do have 
these little zippers at the bottom. Uh, so little ankle zippers, um, so they could go around a boot or zip up to go right against the leg. Uh, this actually made them really easy to put on the mannequin, so that's the only reason I brought it up. I always have trouble getting the ankles on the mannequin. I suppose it's because, I suppose it's because the mannequin doesn't have any bones or joints, it's just kind of solid plastic, so. All right, up next we have a the legging ankle. These are super skinny ankle, and you know what? I'm just gonna call them jeans. Uh, jeans or pants, either or. Uh, these are Andreo Goldschmitted. Uh, something along those lines. They are a size 27, made right here in the U.S. of A. Uh, as you can see on the um, little tag in the back there. Um, and these are a pair of orange. Well, you know what? I'm just going to call them jeans. A pair of orange jeans. Now, we do have another pair of orange jeans in our closet, and um, I don't, I don't, they haven't sold. There has been a few likes, but um, I believe they're rag and bone. So I'm, I've, I think we do have a couple of these, uh, of this uh, Rando. Um, I believe we have a couple of this brand in our closet. I, so, because I know I've seen it before. Because uh, I recognize that little AG in there, uh, that little ag gold, as it were. Um, and I'm not, I don't think we've sold any of them, but I do think we have one other pair of these in our closet. So maybe, maybe it just takes some, uh, Maybe it'll just take a little bit different pricing or something, but they seem like a really nice pair of pants. All right, and up next we have a pair of size four Banana Republics. And these are, I feel comfortable calling these pants. Uh, it's definitely doesn't feel like a uh, denim and they are flower patterned as are most things in our closet, flowers. We just cannot get away from them, and I have terrible aller allergies right now, so I've been just sneezing constantly in the mornings. Um, anyway, these are a pair of flower, pair, flower patterned pants, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll definitely list those. Um, I don't think we've sold a whole lot of pants with patterns, but um, I do think we've had we do tend to get some a lot of interest in them so I will definitely be excited to see how those sell and with that we are gonna take a quick break because um, I hear someone calling me upstairs all right so I'll see you in a little bit and welcome back there is now a children's drawing that was on the refrigerator that was shredded by a dog little white dog named Frank. He's a bad boy. And if you ever see him on this channel, make sure to tell him that he is a bad boy. All right, moving right along, we have another pair of these, um, Adrano Goldschmitted. Uh, these are a pair of jeans. Uh, it says denim right there, so I feel comfortable saying jeans. And these are, um, well, other than the color, pretty solid pair of pants. Um, let's see, they are the Isabel uh, that makes them a high-rise straight crop. Uh, designed in Southern Gate, somewhere in California. Uh, they are a size 24. And... I believe they're probably mostly cotton. Yep, 98% cotton, 2% polyester. And there they are. All right. We are almost through, we're almost through the pants and into back and tops. Um, all right, so up next, these are a Pilcrow 
and the letterpress script size 26 and they are a another pair of jeans actually these 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 I will say are corduroys um, they have the uh, you can see the vertical ridges in them if I get up real close there you can see it um, well that's much better much better view of the name that doesn't have the uh, doesn't have the stitching going through it um, yeah anyway they are a pair of corduroys now if I don't seem super excited about pants it's because pants don't do as well as tops for us so I prefer getting tops but I mean there are certain pairs um, like the rag and bones and um, that that do really well for us but you know pants are really really uh, not not our uh, high selling item okay up next we have a current Elliot size 27 and it is a floral pattern pair of pants um, now, I always mention this with current Elliot's, but they have some longitude and latitude on the buttons, and I never look that up. Um, so, <laughs> that could be the location of their headquarters, or it could be the, uh, could be some buried treasure, or, I don't know, it could be all kinds of things. Anyway, um... Current Elliot actually uh, is, you know, we've sold a couple pairs of these, so I am happy about, I am happy about this brand, and um, you know, we'll see if uh, we'll see if this particular, um, uh oh, uh, there is a small stain right there, uh, so we'll have to make sure to note that when we list, but um, we'll see if this if these pattern pants can sell. Of course the exception with pants is yoga pants. Those things sell crazy good for us. All right, I believe this is the, I think we got one more pair after this. Um, right, so this is a bra, bra, Shop, bra, bra, bra shop, bra. Mm. Twist my mustache a little bit when I say that. Uh, anyway, these are made in your neighborhood, so that is an impressively accurate tag, if true. Um, however, they say New York, Brooklyn, Toronto, and none of those are my neighborhood, so. Perhaps a little bit inaccurate, but these are a pair of sweatpants, um, and they do have pockets and nice, actually nice deep pockets. Uh, um, that is one problem I always have with sweatpants. Uh, can pockets are never deep enough, and stuff just falls right out of them. Anyway, uh, these pants have a navy on the front and the back, and then green stripes on the side and they are symmetrical. All right, and I believe that brings us into tops. So we can look at this top that I brought up for a brief second there. Uh, this is a splendid, um, it is a size small, and this is a black shawl. I believe these are called shawls. My wife told me that. I'll just call them open front shirts, but I believe the proper term is shawl. All right. Up next, we have a pair of shorts. I guess technically pants, so I may have jumped the gun a little bit. Anyway, these are Joyce. They are extra small. And they're a pair of, well, they're just a pair of blue shorts. 
very short shorts um, and they do have pockets so probably something you can wear for a workout and something that'd be nice and cool and you know the workout stuff does tend to do better with the pants side of things so definitely happy about that all right up next we have a Mave um, I'm, did I lose my there we go is my camera slanted have I been doing this whole video at an angle I don't know anyway um, this is a Mave top now Mave is uh, one of those brands that has done we haven't got a whole lot of it but it has done well when we have got it and this is a white top with um, what appears to be a little bit of a flower design sewn onto it and it does have this um, it is laced up in the front um, as you can see right there it kind of zigzags and that is uh, functional so you could tighten it or loosen it depending on your preference okay how many more looks like we only have four more items all right up next I know is this I remember this is something oh we have a vintage Havana uh, let's see if I can find the um you know it's uh yeah vintage Havana we have a little vintage Havana split back sweater and I know that it's split back because I remember we sold we sold one of these recently and that's what it was listed as my wife she tells me what all these things are and if I remember I make sure to mention it in the videos anyway um, this is a nice nice little sweater um, and yeah I remembered something was unique about it and it is the split back part all right up next we have a what is this this is a Susan Monaco new with tags over the shoulder or off the shoulder dress one shoulder um yeah i can't even go high enough to to get this all oh wait it's not a not a dress i misspoke this is a uh, jumper um because it has the legs yeah so um one shoulder jumper so three of the four limbs have holes <clears throat> anyway um, it's solid black and it's, I don't believe it has pockets no oh um, jumpers you know they're there's something that uh you know we don't sell a lot of them but we don't really get a lot of them so I'm not really sure how um I'm not really sure what to think of that Ooh, but this next one this next one is another going on this is a free people this is a free people little i guess we'll call this a nighty um little sleepwear top and uh a very nice one of that and these these little tops actually do pretty good for us um and free people is a brand that does very well for us so definitely really really good find here all right find <laughs> we didn't find it jamar retail treasures found it and last but not we blah last but not least we have a classics entree extra large though it doesn't look extra large top and this is half black half white um kind of not quite portioned 
to be front and back and not somewhere in the middle. Anyway, I had to shoot this at all four angles to show where exactly it switched. Very unique pattern um, of, of course, uh, plants, leaves, not flowers though. So a little bit unique in that regard. My statement stands and it's a pretty nice top. I think this is going to do pretty well for us because tops tend to do tops like that tend to do well for us. All right, and that brings us to the end of the Jamar Retail Treasures reseller box. Uh, this is reseller CPR box. These are basic life support, essential inventory for every reseller. And I tend to think that is um, a bit underselling it um, because most of the items in here were pretty good. Um, the pants were not um well no there was the rag and bone pants and the current elliot pants two very good brands um and the the tops were just exceptional I and mean, there was a lot of free people in here there was a couple things that were new with tags there was a couple of bowdens um so overall a pretty good box um so i definitely think we will be getting another one of these um just to see how it all um shapes out maybe this was an exceptionally good box maybe it was an exceptionally bad box and the next box we get will be even better who knows um we've only ever done one of these so i don't have anything to compare it to now comparing it to um probably its closest uh competitor would be thread up i will say the stuff in here tended to be better than a thread up box um i think given that um Given that thread up boxes are typically around two dollars per item, um, and this was this is double that, I that might shake some. That might seem a little bit off, but when you're talking about going from two dollars to four dollars, it's only two dollars more per item, and we can definitely sell a lot of these things at more than two dollars. More than two dollars more than what we typically sell um, a thread up box item for so again it's all about the margins and i definitely think we'll be able to make a lot more profit off this than off of the typical thread up box uh, but we'll have to get this stuff listed it's all been shot so should be listed soon we'll see how it, everything sells and maybe i'll do a follow-up video okay if you enjoyed this video be sure to like share subscribe and comment all that stuff is below um, various buttons uh, just not the button that's the thumb pointing down that's the bad button you don't want to hit that one all right until next time i've been charles and i'll see you